Hey guys, welcome back. So, the beautiful people at Bond Crafter sent me a present to test and show it to you guys. So here we are. And I'm sorry about the mess in the background, but you know, hey, a girl's gotta work. <laughs> anyway, let's open this up and see what we got. And then we'll look at specifics. So we have one shot glass, two shot glasses, sticks, Ooh, more sticks. We have part B. We have part A. It looks like ooh, more sticks. Two more sticks, so a total of five, and then two pairs of disposable gloves. Now, what it does not have in here is instructions, which is interesting uh, to me. But let's take a look at our resin and see what it says. Now, the ones that they sent me, sixteen ounces each. So let's see what it says on the back of the bottle. We've got our ingredient list and percentage, uh, pr standard warnings, first aid, keep bottles sealed, dispose of contents and ordinance with the everybody, governmental people, and manufacturer is uh, something that I don't want to butcher, so I'm not even and on the back of B, second verse, same as the first. Ingredients, warnings, first aid, storage. Um, so, yeah, all right. On the box, let's read it. Instructiones, measure equally A and B. Does not say by weight or volume, uh, but since they both weigh the same, and uh, yeah, so I'm going to guess it's either or. Uh, stir along the line, uh, along the walls and bottoms for three minutes. Pour into mixture container of choice. Wait for, till the resin dries after eight hours. Fully cures after 24. Crystal clear, bubble free, fast curing, self leveling, and resists yellowing. Actually, it resists its yellowing, but, you know, not to be pedantic. Uh, creating exquisite insect specimens. Okay, so if you're an entomologist, there you go. Uh, epoxy resin crafts, flower epoxy resin jewelry, uh, tables, any craft you want to make. So there we go. So that's what's in the box. So we're going to make a project. What do you guys want to make today? Huh? And, oh, hang on just a second. There's stuff on the bottom. Oh, same stuff. Crystal clear, bubble free, fast curing, self leveling, resist yellowing. Mix ratio A to B, one to one. Okay. But again, it doesn't say by weight or volume. Um, so we're just going to go with uh, volume because that's normally what I do, and my scale is broken. So let me get out my mixing stuff, and I will mix up some uh, resin, and we'll go from there. See you soon. All right, so you guys can see that this is the first time that I am cracking these open. You see that the they do have the child-proof cap on the top, and then they also have the little uh, foil... on them. So I'm just going to take a craft knife, cut around that. It's like a soup can lid that once you cut it open with a can opener, it falls inside. <laughs> Never fails. I'm 
to make sure that I get this little foil top off all the way so I don't have those weird drippy things happening. So there we go. Alright, I am going to grab a wipey so I can wipe off my knife carefully because it is a craft knife and it is exceptionally sharp. So to test clarity, you know what I like to do. We're gonna, I'm gonna make one of my birds here. This is one of my Wee House uh, bird molds. You guys saw me making it um, the other day in blue, the blue bird of clarity. And it is a two ounce mold. So I'm going to be pouring in one ounce of B. I always pour B first. Uh, that's just me. So there's one ounce of B, wipe off the bottle, and put the lid on. And the lids are, the, part B has a black lid, part A has a white lid. So you can keep them easily distinguished even if the little sticker on the bottom or on the top comes off. And now, granted, it is cold in here. Well, not cold, cold, but, you know, it's... They've been sitting at room temperature for... Uh, the bottles have been sitting at room temperature for about, I don't know, two hours or so since they got here. So it's had time to come up to room temperature which in my case is 76 degrees Fahrenheit or 24 degrees Celsius. So that is our room temperature. I can avoid knocking over what's up there. All right. So I'm not going to use the sticks that it came with because I find in my projects, wooden sticks tend to uh, make more bubbles. So I'm just going to stir this for the next three minutes gently. That's been about three minutes, and I don't see any streaky bits or anything. Uh, it seems to have a pretty, you know, normal amount of bubbles for hand stirring. So yeah, I'm going to let this sit for a little bit and see how it degasses on its own uh, because I know that not everybody has bubble removers um, so I want to give you a you know the the least amount of equipment as possible uh, review of this uh, first off just so you know you can see how it is um, for you know just us normal people who don't have a lot of fancy equipment. I just, you know, happen to be lucky and got gifted one. Uh, bubble remover, that is. Um, so yeah, we're going to let this sit for, for a while. I'll tell you how much time uh, elapses um, when we get back started and we'll pour a bird. So I'll see you then. Okay, now it's been about 20 minutes and it's got, you know, pin bubbles in it, you know, just very tiny micro bubbles, uh, but that's to be expected. I didn't use the debubbling machine or anything, but what I am going to do is I'm going to add one small drop of bright red. 
Uh, and what that'll do is, you know, give it some color, but also the alcohol in it will help with the bubbles a little bit. Um, albeit not too terribly much because I'm putting such a small amount in. Then I'm just going to very gently go through. You can see how slow I'm going here. Very slowly, very gently mixing that in without trying not to add any additional bubbles in. So let's see what we got here. Now, again, I'm going to spray with uh, a little bit of 99% just because I want to get down into the tail and make sure that it's good and uh, lubricated and also down into the little birdie beak just to try to keep any bubbles from forming in there. Let me bring you in a little bit here. Zoom. Okay. And I'm going to slowly pour. We're not all big, huge channels with tons and tons of subscribers and endless amounts of money and all kinds of big, fancy equipment at our disposal. So that's why I want to keep it real. Okay. So now that that is full, what I'm going to do is find the pokey tool that I want. <laughs> Never fails, does it? Here it goes. Here's the silicone tool that I want to use. It's just got a little pointy tip to it, but it's still silicone, so it's very gentle. It's not going to scratch my mold or anything. And I'm just going around the rim just to give it a little bit of extra persuasion to not have bubbles stick on the inside of the rim. So there we have it folks. Uh, that is the first step of our project. So we are going to let that cure and I will see you when it's all done. Now they said drying in eight hours fully cured in 24 so I will probably see you in about 12. Um, yeah, so we'll see you then. Okay, so it's been about 40 minutes since I poured these, and you can see I had enough left over to do some little pendants. Um, so there's a couple of little fine points that I want to touch on. One, viscosity. It seems to be a very medium viscosity resin, okay? Um, it's thicker, uh, but not, you know, too much. So it's it's definitely a medium viscosity. Two, uh, the work time on it, uh, it's been about 40 minutes and it's starting to, you know, heat up and get thick. So it looks like the work time on it is about 30 to 40 minutes, which is reasonable in my opinion. Um, it seems to be degassing itself in these little guys very well. Of course, I can't really tell very much in here, uh, but it, it looks like it is. Um, so it does seem to have some little, little micro bubbles in it, but again, we're not using any machinery, so that's to be expected. 
Um, unless it's a deep pour resin, it's not going to degas itself completely. And even deep pour resins don't degas themselves completely sometimes. Uh, but anyway, I just wanted to touch on those two little points uh, real quick. And uh, that's that. I'll see you later. Good morning. It is time to demold. Now you'll see over here I already took out these little guys. So, uh, these were our extras um, that I did. Uh, and I added some gold foil to the back and backed them with a little bit of clear uh, UV resin. So I'm probably going to make some earrings out of these. I think they turned out really pretty. You can already see. Pretty stinking clear. So I'm happy with that. But here's the main star of the show. Let's see how our bird did. And again, this was no equipment, no machinery, no bubble removers, no heat mats, no anything mechanical. So let's see how it came out so we can get a good idea of how he looks. Now we know from the bluebird that his tail is wider than on the end than it is in the middle. So I am going to spray a little bit of alcohol down in there just to get it a little bit slimy so I can pull it out easier. And there we are. Get a wipey and clean it off. And there we have him. So he does have some little little micro bubbles in him. Uh, but actually, I think it kind of adds to it. I think it looks rather pretty. I like it. I like him a lot. I think he looks very nice. So I'm actually really impressed with this uh, Bond Crafter. I think it's a very good resin. Um, so the next project is going to be trying it with the bubble remover and everything. Um, you know, my, uh, what do you call that thing, wand mixer or whatever, uh, in the bubble remover. Actually, this one's going to be easier with scissors. If you don't have any burn tool, you can see that you can just use scissors. To clean up, oh, there we go, clean up the edges. If you don't necessarily have a lot of sandpaper or anything like that, just to use a nail file. To go over the bottom. And there we go. So very cute. I'm very impressed with this resin. I mean, all things considered, with no machinery, no nothing, just very, uh, very simple process. I think he turned out beautifully. I really do. I'm quite pleased. So anyway, thank you, Bond Crafter, again. Um, as you probably saw in the pop-ups uh, in the video, just my little notes that I pop up, there is a 20% uh, discount for Bond Crafter in the description box. Uh, so please do feel free to avail yourself of that. The wonderful people at Bond Crafter sent me that for you guys. And uh, yeah, check out all the other products they have. They have Fast Cure and uh, Deep Pour. They also have a selection of molds. It's a pretty new company. So they have lots of good stuff. And uh, yeah, they're offering you a really, really cool offer with uh, that applies to all products. There's um, there's no expiration date for it. And uh, yeah. So thank you again so much for being here. I really do appreciate it. And I hope to see you again on the next one. Thank you guys so much. Take care. Cheers.